Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to you. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here. We've got warm, or at least mild, rich, moisture-rich uh, air mass in place this morning. We've got nice high dew points in the 50s, thanks to strong south-southeast winds, and those winds are going to be strong throughout the day. Regardless of any thunderstorm activity, it's going to be a windy day today. Let's play out the morning where we've got clouds, some drizzle, light rain. Cannot rule out an isolated thunderstorm, but the chances aren't great for that over the next few hours. But as we get closer to about 10 o'clock or so, I'm going to be watching this area right here. Highway 83 is right here. And we're going to be watching that area very closely for storm development around 10, 11, 12 o'clock. That's our first chance of thunderstorms of the day, including severe weather. By noon, folks in Valentine to McCook, you're probably done with storms. In fact, the sun's going to come out on the backside of this cold front, and your winds are going to turn westerly. And those winds are going to be pretty strong out of the west and southwest, but it's going to help to warm you up. So the warmest, this is the Pacific cold front. There's not much cold air with it. So it may actually be warmer behind the front today in these locations. Storms are starting to kind of get a little stronger now around the noon hour as these move into central Nebraska. While initially super south thunderstorms are possible, these will quickly become more of a line of thunderstorms. And so you have different types of threats depending on, you know, supercells, you tend to get more hail and tornadoes, some wind gusts, but hail and tornadoes. Lines of storms, you get more wind, some hail, but mostly wind. And every once in a while, like we saw Friday night, tornadoes as well. Now let's go from two to four o'clock here. Tri-Cities, we're now seeing the impact. This is right around the time school is letting out. Keep that in mind. If you know uh, an area principal, I know one, because I'm married to one, superintendents, Watch letting those kids out inside in this stuff. If you see a big storm coming, it might be best to keep those kids in safety for a little bit inside here and let the parents know that ahead of time as, as well. As we get further into the afternoon now, we're talking 4 to 6 o'clock. Highway 8, 281 corridor, it's right in here, 281. And eastward, notice too, with northward extent, the weak, so storms get a little bit weaker. They're not quite so strong. Now, yes, it is a line of storms, but my concern is what if these are kind of embedded supercells within this line? We're, we could still, not only is there a big wind threat, there may still be enough twisting in these storms to provide for at least a tornado threat. Again, higher chances the farther south you go, maybe still some hail as well. These push, let's now notice, sunshine out west, you're warming up out west behind the cold front because there's not a lot of cold air there. Now we're pushing this into eastern Nebraska, six o'clock, highway 81 right here, North Fork to Columbus to York to Hebron, down towards Concordia, Kansas. Ongoing severe weather, strong winds, maybe some hail, possibly tornadoes. Eastern Nebraska, 7, 8 o'clock, and then making their way on out after that, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. By about 9 o'clock, I think we're done with the severe weather threat. The winds will die down tonight. Skies will clear up overnight tonight, taking us into a quieter day for most of your Tuesday. All right, severe weather threat. There's not really much change over the last 24 hours with this threat here. The initial threat will be out here to the west where the storms first develop around 10, 11, 12 o'clock. A level one out of five or five marginal risk of severe storms mainly going to be some hail and wind probably not much of a tornado threat yet as these push eastward now we're starting to see a slightly higher threat a level two out of five threat of severe weather and they as they continue to push the way eastward they get stronger and stronger but notice it stays two up here to the north it's a level three out of five enhanced risk of severe weather farther south because the dew points are going to be higher in the south. There's more rich, low-level moisture in southern areas than northern areas here. Uh, all modes of severe weather will be possible with this. Here's your tornado threat. and Anywhere we get these dashed lines, that could be the potential for a significant tornado. So there's a small chance of a tornado in here. Gets a little bit better farther east and then best in southeastern areas. Hail threat. This could be ongoing throughout the entire storms. Even out west here, there's a hail threat. But notice as you push eastward, the threat gets stronger. In the southern areas where there's more, there's a higher dew point, the higher threat. This is significant hail in here when the, with those dashed black lines. That's for threat, the threat of hail that could be larger than two inches in diameter. We could be maybe up to tennis ball size hail with these storms. The wind threat, again, it starts off out west, but gets higher the farther east and south east you go with time as those storms push eastward. And again, it's southeastern areas that have the highest chance of significant damaging wind gusts over 75 miles per hour. That dash line, what does that mean? Basically, all those dash lines, it's it's that threat. It's, a, it's like a 10% chance of that happening anywhere within 25 miles of a point. So kind of summing up the threats, again, you see very large hail, maybe up to the size of tennis balls. Wind gusts over 70 miles per hour possible. And again, a few tornadoes not out of the question. Do I think there's going to be a tornado outbreak? No. I think that threat is going to be more to our south. 
there's going to be more isolated supercells and they may actually hold off more towards the end of the afternoon and more towards tomorrow tonight and so there's a moderate risk of severe weather over Oklahoma and parts of southern Kansas in fact there could be a nighttime tornado outbreak here down here from Wichita to Oklahoma City it looks like a nasty night of storms down there to our south we're kind of on the edge of it I do not expect a repeat of what we saw a week and a half ago on that Friday on the was it the 26th I don't think we'll see a repeat of that all right, on to your temperatures for today. Now, 60s and 70s for highs. Notice, well, warmer in the east, low 70s there, but also right in here, behind the cold front when the sun comes out, that will help temperatures warm up a little bit. Despite it being a cold front, the really cool air is farther to the west from there. Tonight, we'll dip back into the mid to upper 40s for overnight lows. Tomorrow, not a bad day. This will be one of our better days this week. Still going to be windy. That's the only downside. Strong west and southwest winds. Highs into the low and mid 70s, some cooler 60s north and west. Tomorrow night, 40s for overnight lows. And then as we, and 30s in the panhandle, in fact, here. And then looking ahead to your Wednesday, we're going to start to trend a little cooler Wednesday and Thursday. So highs on Wednesday, 60s, maybe still some low 70s in southeast Nebraska, chillier 50s out west. And you'll see that here on our seven day forecast here. Uh, we trend cooler after Tuesday here. Slight chance of rain Tuesday night, by the way. I don't think we'll see much with that. Another small chance of rain and thunderstorms Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. Temperatures after that do start to come up Friday and into the weekend, back into the lower 70s. Slight chance of rain and thunderstorms on Sunday. By the way, I did not do a forecast, a seven-day forecast for North Platte. I was very busy this morning. I just did not get enough time. Not a lot of major differences other than your severe weather threats lower today in North Platte compared to the uh, Tri-Cities area. After next, as we get past this weekend, next week it does look like we'll trend a little bit warmer into the 70s again, so hopefully a little bit warmer next week. Well, I do have to let you all go. I want to thank you all for watching on this Monday morning. Stay safe out there, and I will talk to you all again on Tuesday morning. Take care, and God bless.